So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks. Now, this is going to be the individual pieces for the Iron Pledge Armor. If you guys don't know, we usually review the we usually review the video and do the shader video, video, which is right here. You guys can check it out. And then we go to the individual pieces video. So what that basically means is we take the arm, some of the armor pieces or all of the armor pieces from the Iron Pledge Armor and then make individual sets with those pieces. So that's pretty much how I do these. Uh, if you ex if we get a new armor set, expect five videos because the three classes plus the review and the shader. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Remember to hit the bell notification to keep up with my content because I do think my content is worth it considering I post quite a bit of content uh, with the armor videos the especially since one armor new one new armor equals five videos we have the exotic videos which i'm working on as well we have i want to go back to making thematic videos which we're going to probably start with uh tactical sets and then go from there uh, night sets as well fantasy sets I, I have a lot of plans for that and then we also will be looking at some other things i want to bring back zer's exotic there which if you guys don't know it is an old thing that I did where each week Zer would bring an exotic and I would make a set with that. This time around, I'm going to let you guys vote on which exotic you guys want. So by the end of the month, we'll make, an, we'll make a video from that. So that way I don't burn myself out. And sometimes there's not enough armor in the game for me to do that weekly. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Let's get into it. So the first one is going to be the helmet. And I think this is by far one of my best sets that I've made probably this year i'm gonna be honest with you guys a lot of pieces i was just like this is fucking amazing so for this one we're gonna be using the iron pledge ornament for the helmet and the bond i think these two are amazing especially with this set because obviously i'm going for a japanese look so for the arms ancestral gloves amazing choice chest piece iron simiki robes this one surprised me because i was looking for a chess piece that was japanese themed and I was like, I just can't find something. I didn't want to use the ancestral chest piece because I use it quite a bit. And I do think I do use it in this video. And I was like, I kind of don't want to use that because I have been using that with the swarmers, which is the, with the exotic we're using. So I wanted to like branch out and I'm happy I did because I do think this is by far one of the coolest sets I've made for the Warlocks. For the shader full throated roar, I will be making a video for the new shaders that we got. It's just again, I've been so booked with videos of armor that it's really ha has just made me focus on just that alone. But I will have the shader videos. I have all season, so I'm not too worried about it considering this season is super long. As for the next set, we're gonna be utilizing the Iron Pledge ornament for the chest piece. This one's pretty cool because we're gonna be using the Iron Simiki gloves. I do think this one looks amazing. The Iron Remembrance hood, I think that one looks amazing as well. And then the swarmers again, but this time we're gonna be using the ancestral bond with iron to steel for everything because a I love this shader and b the iron to steel titch turns off the ancestral bond, which is, gives me no bond, which is kind of what I wanted. So I definitely think this looks cool. Um, I will say if I was going for a swarmers look, the other one is by far way better. I just wanted to give you guys like a different Japanese look because for me, the iron pledge ornament specifically for all the classes but more so for the warlocks is heavy japanese themed because like the hunters only have the hum the cloak no yeah the cloak is the only piece that for me is like super well the cloak and the chest piece i guess and then for the warlocks it's like the helmet the chest piece to a certain extent the bond for sure and the um no nah, i don't know about the boot no not the boots the boots no but i don't know it's just the helmet and the arms not arms i'm sorry the chest piece either way very japanese theme is what i'm trying to say so for me i really really do like this one let me know what you guys think as for the boots we're going to be looking at the iron companion hood for the helmet the hexer robes for the chest piece the iron pledge ornament for the boots and then the lichen bond for the bond for the arms we're going to be using the osmiomancy gloves so i actually do think this one looks amazing and the reason I was saying like the boots are not Japanese themes because for me, it's more of a night look, which is why I combine it with the Hexa robes and the Iron Companion. All of this really looks amazing. I really like the Iron Pledge ornament for the boots because of the pointy bits at the bottom. So overall, I think this one's amazing for the shader. Iron Bone is what I'm using. I love this shader because it really makes armor pieces pop so much more 
because it gives it like almost like a platinum look which is why i like it but it also gives cloth such a good color so this is one of my favorite shaders in the game for sure let me know what you guys think about this one and then last but not least we have this one right here which is an interesting fit i'm gonna be real with you guys so for this one apotheos apotheosis veil is what we're using and then for the arms iron pledge ornament for the chest piece ancestral robes for the boots shadow boots and then for the bond iron pledge bond because i wanted to use it with the ancestral robes so for the shadering first frost is what i'm using because it is the closest shader that i can find that kind of mimics the the stone in the helmet so i actually really like this one i would probably just tell you just switch the boots for something else if you can find something that's japanese themed that's really good i just decided to go for shadows boots because i like the silhouette of the side of the armor it looks really cool and honestly i didn't want to overthink this one just because i wanted to finish this video as fast as possible because again this one is actually the last set not saying i like was like oh it's okay it's gonna do well it's good it's enough I actually do think this is cool. Would I use it for Apothesis Veil? Probably the only thing I would switch out would be the arms, funnily enough, which is the whole thing we're doing. But the arms, I do think, I think they're just a little too big. They're too big. And that's like my biggest gripe about the arms. So let me know what you guys think. Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think the first one is the best one. Like legitimately one of my favorite sets that I made this year. Speaking of that, I do want to make a like best sets of the year for 2023 even though we're already in the 4th of january but we'll see i think by the end of january i'll have that video because i have to go through all of the all of the armor that sets that i've made this year and starting like moving forward i will be having like a folder where i have like my favorite sets of this year which I'll probably end up putting the warlock one first because i do think it's amazing even though technically all of the videos that like all of the armor that came out for season of the wish i made in 2023 because we're doing it in 2024 i'm just gonna do it that way just to save myself like headache because yeah i've been thinking about a lot not only that i'm heavy sleep deprived right now because uh, i need to make videos because i need to have videos up be before i leave on friday which again i have uh, i'm going to la for like four days or three days i don't even remember so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later